Welcome, everyone, to the Real Wolverines cast. I am your host, Matrix Lawyer 212, and I'm with Vaughn. What's up, Vaughn? What's up? What's up, Sally? What's up? Well, a lot of damn rainbows. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Fuck's sake. Oh, brilliance. Rainbows. Rainbows this, rainbows that. I think they're trying to tell us that the doctor is a female. <sighs> really? I, I thought she was tell. Like- I thought yeah, she was a tomboy. Yeah, I, oh, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Rainbows. Yeah. Is this going to be a Bill Potts thing? Like every oh, yeah. episode that she's gay? She's <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Because much. we're, I think, I think now, you know, we talked about this a lot. Yeah. Uh, we could write books on how much we talked about this. Yeah. I think now they, I think as a whole, they think that the viewing public is a bunch of, low attention span, non-intelligent people just sitting in front of the television have to have everything spelled out, you know? Yeah. And, and this, I mean... Somebody that's not about gender, like... Yeah. It, see, here's the thing, like, and I understand they're trying to... This narrative that the doctor's genderless and all this yeah. other stuff. First of all, we all know that's bullshit, that mm-hmm. he really was a man for fucking thousands of years. Yeah. Um, despite whatever goes on Gallifrey, he hasn't been on fucking Gallifrey for like 2,000 years. And it wasn't a regular thing that happened until after the Corsair did it. But it wasn't like a frequently done thing because when the general regenerated into a woman, their eyes were like, oh, mm-hmm. oh, what's that? Yeah. So yeah. if it was a regular occurrence, they wouldn't be freaking the F out about it. So... It's not a regular occurrence. It's not something they do. How would he even get that ability, though? Because I know, I know that they say he was born out of the loom system, which is well. Is that even canon anymore? That that thing. The was, loom system. Yeah, that's I not canon anymore. Who right, here's my take on it. I what? feel that you know how they have the X Y and the X chromosome. You know, like. Yeah. I feel because he was screwing around with the regeneration energy but, that there wasn't enough. Like, it could be something stupid like that. Like, he kept freaking using that regeneration energy. Like, maybe it recharges, but maybe it didn't have enough to complete the cycle to be male. And he's just yeah, a female. But how are they going to explain, like, in Listen, I think this is Listen, where, where you see him as a child. Right. How do you explain that? I mean, he was a boy. He was yeah. a boy. He, he was a boy. Anymore. He wasn't no girl. Right. So what, I mean, it's just like... See, They're just is, not going to mention it. This is why you need continuity. Like, I was watching, some, I was watching British comedies all this weekend, um, well, this past weekend. And this is the thing. They have continuity. Like, a person just for continuity. Because right now, you saying that they could put throw in a line like she has always been a woman, but no, she has not because you seen we clearly saw. Why don't they do it now? Although Moffat had that stupid two jokes or some shit that yeah. the doctor was a vestal virgin or all that stupid shit. Mm-hmm. And then the other one, oh, I, I don't know. I guess I was a male. Like he just it was. What are you talking about? Why even throw that in there? My thing is they do have someone, but Jodie Whittaker claims that. Chris Chibnall was like an encyclopedia of 55 years. Is he really that much of a fan? No, indeed. He's not that no, much of a fan. So what the hell is that about? No, he's not an encyclopedia. He's saying he is. Hell no. She even said he is too. Like he said. No, I don't know obviously she's going to say that because that's her boss. Right. But he don't know half the shit he that don't. Moffat does or Russell T. Davis does. No, he doesn't. No, he don't. So I don't know what the hell they're talking about. He didn't know. He doesn't know what John Nathan Turner did or uh, what, how Robert watched all that Bart. stuff. I mean, come on. I wasn't aware he watched every ep- every F and episode there is. I mean, did he? Did he probably he, he, not. Really? He didn't. Probably see, not. He probably didn't see the missing. He couldn't he have because some of the shows are missing from the other. There's no way. I never knew that he was a fucking mega Doctor Who fan. I know that. He was in a kid. He, he, you know, I no way did they ever say that. Even when he wrote stuff, they never said, "Oh, they only we they got only, Chris Chibnall. He fucking they, is like, they are they are going by this fan club thing. The same thing with Capaldi. He's in the fan club too. 
So the, big deal. He's not as big as fan as Capaldi was. N- well, no, Capaldi lived and breathed that shit for a while. Yeah. But uh, here's here's the thing. They going off of this thing. If you um have Trial of the Time Lord, you'll see an interview where Chimno is talking about Trial of the Time Lord, and he's a really young man at that time, like a kid basically, bashing the hell out of Colin Baker and Nicola and all of them. So they're going by that type of stuff. Like we oh, don't he didn't like it. He didn't like it at all. He bashed the hell out of that whole series. I'm like, hold up, they didn't have some moms in there. It's not it wasn't all that bad. But he yeah, he bashed the hell out of that. And so it it's going by that stuff that he's true fan. But then you have people like Capaldi that, you know, live, breathe, was there to watch the first series that was ever made of this show. I mean it, so have, I guess Colin Baker is not going to guest star anytime soon. Oh, well, <laughs> probably not. Probably not because he, I guess Does Colin he, Baker know that he fucking was ripping him apart because then I doubt that he before the whole choice. I don't even know. I don't even think he. I mean, that'd be a good question to him. I think he's there more more supportive of Jody. Right. But I think Chris because. Let's be honest, that that one, like, we are seeing shades of that repeating again. So that time and place was just ridiculous how they did his era. I mean, he didn't get a chance to really go up in there and show. I mean, you see uh, you see him, if the, if the Stranger was canon, which is not, but if you saw, if you ever look up the Stranger. I saw, um, I think I saw some of an episode. Yeah. Something. It, it kind of showed what the progression of his doctor might have been. Like, he would have had love her out, and then he became, like, this clever person that kind of, well, it went into, like, this sci-fi thing at the end. Like, it, the first two episodes of The Stranger was written, like, a closet Doctor Who thing anyway, because they couldn't get the rights back. So they brought him back to do the two uh, shows. But it kind of showed the progression of his doctor, like, he had, um, and then that's the another thing they got right with the stranger is that Nicola should have been British all the way. She mm-hmm. should have just went on and been a British companion. She was a different, different character, obviously. Yeah, she is. Yeah, but um, it worked it better with her being British, like instead of the fake American thing where they couldn't even get the freaking, um, they couldn't get the freaking actual phrases and terminology we use over here. Right. With her, they kept messing up. Like she deflects certain stuff that she did was in she refers to it in British terminology instead of the American terminology. Right. But but um just like Colin, we've seen um Peter Capaldi being bashed for no What's reason. That about? Yeah. yeah. Why? I have no damn clue. But I'm gonna tell you one thing. These people out here who thinks it's okay to to um bash a doctor to bash a prior doctor is fucking insane that's a bbc though yeah it's a bbc, and that's BBC what I'm news and bbc yeah. news the fucking yeah. whole thing i'm sorry for cursing but they have no class whatsoever though. no they don't and they don't give a shit either they never even apologized either they just but then how is it how is it that they bash him, but then they want to hire him for stuff? And see, that's a, that's a contradictory. I think it's certain people within the BBC that right. that doesn't want him because, as you remember, uh, I don't know if you up on his history in acting, but <laughs> but that's the same thing. Like before, he got thick of it. It was certain people that didn't want him to do other things. Wow. So yeah, politics. It, it, politics. They yeah, they yeah. didn't. And then you, you, have to, you have to have this low key discrimination against Scottish people because it's, I find that just going through what Capaldi, you know, looking at his history of acting, it, some of the roles was based off of his, his accent or his, where he came from because he is glass region and that's a really hard, you know, it's a hard life. It's like street, street. Right. You know, it's very street down there, urban type thing. Yeah. So he wasn't raised like in like some other part of like Edinburgh or something like that. Wasn't Michelle Gomez same area? Yeah, they both they both were from um, Glasgow. 
so which is a rough around the edges place a beautiful place but it you have to you know as you you can see with his early life you had to come on with it or get you know it was very it's well i mean is is these people that were running the bbc and bbc news they're all like old people or they all there's they're no young news? people they they're young people yeah they gotta be around the same age as us or really? a little bit yeah they could i so mean they're all assholes they pretty much oh shit jeez jeez I'm uh, pretty, I, it has to be it has i mean to we're be. not assholes no oh, wow. we're no. not assholes <laughs> no but they're see, make no mistake about it they're the, the assholes <laughs> the age the age of this group i think the highest one might be probably 60 or 70. that's what see right now but still, there's no excuse to this man has worked it very, very hard to get where he at today. He was a huge they fan. Just, they all act like they got something up their ass, like a broom or something. Like they're all saying, like ego and yeah, pride and they don't give a fuck. Not, this man has not, and you know I can understand now why he's not keen to do any Doctor Who because of the way they're treating him right oh, now yeah, is fuck fucking that. appalling. Oh yeah, I would even. You know say, what they should do? Because we're not going to get a Christmas mm-hmm. special. I propose, and I'm hoping he's watching this. Peter Davison. Mm-hmm. He does a Doctor Who ish Christmas special where the actors yeah. are the actors. Yeah. Christopher Eccleston, David Tennant, Matt Smith, mm-hmm. you know, Peter Capaldi, they're themselves. Mm-hmm. And he's trying to organize. A special, but like, and they're all talking, they're hanging out. Just like, yeah. it would be the coolest effing thing if all the doctors are just chilling, but it's mm-hmm. not Doctor Who, but like, they're talking about Doctor Who. You know, like, yeah. that would be like the greatest thing. Like, I mean, when we saw Sylvester McCoy and Colin Baker and Peter Davison, that was great. Yeah, the five. And Paul Doctor McGann, Doctor. and then, you know, so if you do it like a Doctor Who ish Christmas special, then technically I'll have my fill. Yeah. For Doc, I mean, you could throw Moffat in there. You could throw Russell T. V. Davis in there. You could throw friggin', you know, Jenna Louise Coleman in there. You could throw like old companions all in there, the and just companions, yeah. just chilling, like for like a Christmas yeah. party in somebody's house. Oh you know, yeah, like, like uh, yeah. like um, oh my god, what? like just chilling, acting like the doctors, but they're you know, it would be yeah. the coolest thing though. All of them in a room together, just chilling. I mean, I'm, I'm talking to Vesta McCoy too, Colin Baker. Yeah, yeah. Interacting, Tom Baker. Tom Baker yeah. That would be the coolest thing. You know, and uh, John Pertweet's son. No. Oh, throw him uh, in there and John, then throw the sons of the doctors in there, yeah. Michael Trout, right? Yeah. That would be like cool. Like, just, and, and it would be like, I mean, the five doctors, wasn't that like an hour long or something? Yeah, it was. Yeah. So they it could make it an cool. hour. They could make it like they could do that. That would be our Christmas special. They could have a Dalek rolling around or something. Or they, they ain't gonna do nothing like that because they don't want to. They trying to throw away the last. Who paid for that, years. by the way? Who got the the financing for that? Was it Peter Davison no, or was it Peter Davison? He paid. He's got to pay for. Okay, because he, he, he had that. he had to end though because his son in law was at the time the the um the doctor. The doctor, so yeah. He had the back door way of doing it. Yeah. But see, here's the thing. They ain't going to do nothing like that and because it'd be too much like, right, they are so focused on this new series that they're not even going to do. They're trying to see, and that's what I've been reading on boards too, like a lot of people agree that they're trying to throw away the last 52 years. And I'm like, you can't do that. Yeah, what the- <laughs> Yeah, that's yeah, they're trying to be five low. years is like out the window. It's fucking yeah, like they're not even considering. I mean, you have to, you can't do that with you know this type of show. You know, you have to. Well, here's the thing: if if it's bad, yeah, we I've had situations where I wasn't crazy. You know that I wasn't crazy yeah. about it. Though. Yeah, we just kind of have to wait until it changes hands. Yeah, and and hope that it's not canceled before that. Oh Jesus, I hope because not. you know. That when it does change hands, mm-hmm. hopefully the person coming in is going to be a fan like us and say, oh, I need to fix this. Man, and just like, go. Let's go. I'm going to do this, 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 you this, know, and just, you know. That's radical, and he might not even want to do it, but it has not been done. Get Capaldi to do showrunner. Yeah. 
Because he's the only one that probably could do a fantastic job at showrunning. Look at how they got uh, Angel Lincoln now is going to be a director for Walking yeah. Dead. Oh, did he? Oh, he going to... That's he's cool. training to be a director for nice. Walking Dead. So, you know, the so, Peter I mean, Capaldi should be, you know, should, showrunner. Yeah, showrunner. I mean, he, I mean, he got experience in directing. He knows how the camera works. He probably know better how to merchandise stuff. You know, it's just, I mean, I would like to see an era where he comes back as a showrunner. Yeah. Because doesn't Colin Baker run the fan club thing? Yeah. So why don't Peter Capaldi be, you know, Yeah. showrunner? Well, he's, yeah, they... He could be director. He could, be, he could direct them, the episodes, mm -hmm. too. Yeah. Yeah. He, he's good at directing. I've seen a couple of and shows. I'm sure like him probably want to just do that eventually. It's just direct. Mm -hmm. Act, right? Yeah. So, I'm all for that. Because so. mm -hmm. I don't think nobody's up to the task, to be honest. I mean, yeah. he seems like he has a grasp on how to run things and how the show actually works. I kind of want to see, like, you know how Mark Gatiss did his own shit? Like mm -hmm. without anybody's influence, and he did his friggin' invention space and time. Yeah, and that yeah. shit was perfect, right? Yeah, I kind of want to see an uncontrolled Gatiss just go in there, write what he wants to write. Yeah, and not have any restrictions whatsoever. He probably just, could do. He probably could do this on the chair. It would probably be phenomenal. Because that ain't Chimna. Don't I mean? It would probably be phenomenal. Yeah. He wasn't told, hey, you can't do this, you can't That's do what that. It's, it is basically the writing that sucked, that fell Capaldi. It wasn't his mm -hmm. acting, because he, he, he was doing... Well, just, it was Moffat. It was Moffat. Moffat fucked the whole thing up, obviously, because he didn't want to be there anyway. That's why I was kind of happy. You know from seeing Matt Smith and then going to Capaldi, you're like, oh, he yeah. did the fucking best shit Yeah, to Matt Smith. I just really... I. I really wanted to see a season where he was still on there with Chibno, see how that would have worked out. You know what I'm for? I'm for them doing stuff. I think what they should do eventually is they should do a, a series where, like, they'll say it's the lost episodes, mm -hmm. and it will fill in the gap of stuff. Mm -hmm. Like, you could have a season with Capaldi, season with Matt Smith. Yeah, because you know, I know Moffat would have loved to do another season with Matt Smith, mm -hmm. and then he explain everything. You know, it's like, you know, that would have been great. And then give us a season with Paul McGann. Let yeah. him have at least one season so he can have something in the television world as well as Big Finish. But it seems like with Cabal, we're probably going to get Big Finish anything from him for a long. Time. I mean, if it ever does really, really bad. And they still want to do Doctor Who, but not have the new stuff. They can do Paul again mm -hmm. and go back. You know, give them like a couple of seasons. Yeah, bring the bring the big ping the the ones uh, the big finish companions on because yeah. that's what people are used to. Yeah. But, right. yeah. What about you, Sally? No, oh, I I agree. Yeah, it's it's crazy. And fix unit too, because that shit sucks, right? Now. <laughs> oh my god! Can yeah. What the hell are you doing with units? Can we? Um, it's can like we... the all female squads too, like the unit. Like it's like ah, give man. me a break. So there, you know? see, I thought somebody who was a descendant of a uh, brigadier, brigadier, would have been more forthright and more, you know, confident and more, you Doctor's know. always yelling at her and shit. Yeah, just more of freaking, like, take charge type person. I, like, I'm not yeah. going to come here and take, I'm not going to take shit from you. You know, you might have you know, been friends with my father, but you don't know the fuck where I've been through and stuff like that. She, I mean, it should have been a strong character. I mean, this woman should have been on the ball with everything, but they just... They really just took her to a different level that I wouldn't expect coming from the Brigadier. It was just a week, a week way they did her. I'm like, what the hell are you, even your assistants are not strong enough to even, how the hell do a Zygon Clara trick you into being killed? That's just, what the, this doesn't make sense. I mean, it's no strong, that's the thing, there's no strong characters. 
And, and there was a one. There was one strong character that I wanted with Unit. Yeah. That we seen without Kate. Yeah. It was Brigadier Magumbo or whatever? What it was? Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. She was great, and she didn't appear. We talked about uh, you talking Magumbo about from the, uh, from the uh, the Planet of the Dead with David Tennant and. She was like, right. yeah, she was, she was great. Head. She was, and she was in turn left too. She was yeah. great. She was good, yeah. Yeah, yeah. She, she took she took charge of everything. I mean, she knew how to run that. Listen, we need a new brigadier. Not that it's like brigadier Alistair no. Gordon Leffert Stewart, no. but we need somebody in charge that new like that. Not mm. Kate Stewart. Like she no. can go off and do her thing, and somebody else is in charge now. Unit. Mm. We need somebody that's strong and it needs to be like a like one of those organizations where the doctor is you know have them have them out of his corner of his eye because you know that he they have potential to be like a really threat to everyone. Well, why can't they make like Sergeant Benton be in charge or like someone else like you know build, create a new character maybe that's a, a, a descendant or a relative and yeah. And and do something where maybe they're not too happy about the doctor, but know. they know, you know. I don't know what this obsession is with um, weak characters. I mean, even the companions are weak to a certain extent. There's been a couple that just really could just stand on their own, but I mean, it's just... I know with this series, it's going to probably be another bunch of weak companions because God knows. I, I just want, I guess what I'm trying to say, I want a strong companion. I want somebody that had the essence of Donna and probably yeah. the sensitivity of... I don't uh, think any of these companions are going to last another year. I, I think he's going to have totally new people next year. I think he's going to have, you know, because I think that's what he's going to be thinking about is yeah. that he's going to have, maybe they'll have an Asian companion like we were thinking, well, they get all this money from China. Maybe yeah. that next season, that's what we'll have. But I want them. I want them not to be heavily dependent on the doctor. I want them, and I want the doctor not. They're gonna to be. They're gonna make diverse companions, which is a mistake, also yeah. because now you're forcing it totally. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's, yeah. not only that, it's um. I don't want the doctor to be heavily dependent on the companion because that's not that's not in the spirit of what needs to happen. They need to be basically able to stand, not to the point where Clara, you know, I, I'm not even going to talk about that. She, she did some stupid I have stuff. a feeling that next season, they're going to do something where she rescues a kid or something. Yeah. Like a, a girl. And she's going to want to become like the mother to this kid that she has to stay in TARDIS and it's going to be like a Susan thing all over again, but the kid's going to be young. Yeah, and I I think they're gonna want them going that direction. You know what? I would love something like that because that bring it back to where you know it kind of be like a, a the essence of the show. It it, right. it would bring it home. Like even though I did like see, here's the thing. With I, I can hop. I'm gonna hop on Capaldi a little bit more. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the thing what I liked about the the tenth season was that they actually had the right dynamic. Now, if they could have started out with this and kept the same characterization from eight, then you would have had about good three seasons of good shows. Right. Instead of going to eight, you see his characterization. He's a badass. Then two, you come back his second season and he done something didn't happen that made him turn into a punk rocker. Even though if they would have had went on and had him do full punk rock, I'm talking about with the Mohawk and everything, then that would have been a good that would have been a good change. That'd be like, oh shit, ah. you know. <clears throat> Instead of um half assing that whole season. I, okay. And I mean, even if he stood in the school. Yeah. I mean that was kind of you know, I first I was against it, but after a while I thought, well, you know, that's a cool thing for him to have that in the background. Yeah. And teaching and doing that and you know I love I love the teaching bits because it was just like you know he he reminded me of my professors with the randomness of yeah of the conversations and it's like what you have to do with you know crop circles and he's talking about space yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love I love that dynamic and I like the student teacher dynamic too because right. 
it's basically what he needed to be at first. He should have been like a student teacher type dynamic. Even with Clara there, it should have been like a student teacher type dynamic. And it would have probably worked it better with him because he would have been grounded. He would have had to, and then the vault thing could have happened in season eight, to be honest. Like, why is he keeping the ball? And that could have been like a thread to like two seasons and 10. They oh. kind of, they, they kind of use series eight to like basically rip apart the Clara character. Like, it's like Moffat had revenge where she was the impossible girl, but now she's mm -hmm. a snotty. Yeah. She she's, he, like he totally ruined her. Like he Clara did. is ruined. Like season eight, nine, like he then, ripped her to shreds. And then it's just pretty much the fact that you have this woman who's who'd have been through a whole lot, had a uh, bill, had you know, had this will, you know, that she could be independent, strong, fierce. But yet you put her in a situation where you try to make this love triangle thing going on. There was definitely something going on. Yeah. Because I even would. murder on the Orient Express. Like, yes, exactly. It's like ridiculous. Like, yeah. Like they want to yeah. have a, ro a romance, but the age, but then after yeah. a while it got to be like, well, so what? Like she was like old and he was the same age. And it was like, mm -hmm. you know what, last Christmas. And there was like, well, F it. You know, it's like, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. who cares anymore? I, you, know? and you see that. You see her like, doing these things with the doctor and then she's like oh I'm, I'm in love with the doctor but i can't be with you and then then danny pink on the damn couch come in and it'd be like oh i'm in love with you but i want right. to be with you i can't be with you because i want to travel the world and see the space and time oh no i'm here right now i love you too but i oh, want to be at home and never mind you're just a hobby I'm like, okay, you just, And then the, uh, he, he wasn't even supposed uh, to be Danny Pink, but he was kind of acting like Danny Pink. He's like, no, I'm real. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're a dick. It's like, <laughs> it's like oh, shit. Like, <laughs> you know, I was like, oh, man. I kind of wish Danny Pink came back. Danny Pink was a really good character. I didn't think that she yeah. killed the mom. He pissed Moffin off for yeah. some reason. Uh, he did some shit that really fucking irked him, though. I don't know what. Maybe it was when they were going on tour. Mm-hmm. And he was just fucking, I don't know. Something happened, and it was just like he was out. You know it. Some, mm -hmm. I don't know what the, I want to find out one day what the fuck Cause, happened. Because this, I mean. That it's, was, it's Moffat really, always does that shit, though. It's like he has it in one direction. Like, you have Amy Pond sticking her tongue down a like doctor's throat. Yeah. And then all of a sudden she fucking loves Rory. Like, what the fuck? See, uh, right? And then it's like. And you knew, so, and then it's weird because when he ends it, mm -hmm. and he, he sees her for the final time, it's like hell or river. Yeah, it's like, yeah. Oh, it's like the fucking right there. It's like what the fuck is that? You know, it's like Amy Park. It's like that's the last thing he touches, and oh my god, and it's like you even knew when I was watching the other day, Angels mm -hmm. Take Manhattan, mm -hmm. when he's fuck Rory, he didn't give a shit. Let him jump. He's like, what are you doing? Like yelling at her to not jump. Mm. Like he's flipping out, remember? And then when she was going to touch the angel, like he's like yelling at her, like don't, mm -hmm. you know, crying and shit. It was like, that's just, you know. Yeah. See, that's, that's where I'm kind of. Powerful like. shit. Yeah. I just don't, I don't think he should be messing around with companions, period. Because it's just, it just convoluted. And that's why I kind of did not like season series eight because it was just like and you, you get know. confused because you're like, well, who the hell did he really truly love? He, was it Rose? Because Moff kept trying to make her like a River, yeah. But then Clara, that was was, Clara, yeah. and then what the hell happened? I think I think the doctor is open for anything. I think he's one of those that just just sleeps with anybody. I'm sorry, I just got I just got to tell like it is. He was. I, I'm pretty sure he was like just. Something with I, Clara and, oh yeah, uh, he banged Clara. That's the important point. And he, her, yeah, I think. yeah, eleven, eleven probably slept with her, and then twelve went back and slept with her because you see a big difference between eight and nine. Something has to happen between them for them to just you know. It's ridiculous. Yeah. So I mean, if we, we know eleven wouldn't with Amy Pond, but he did feel. No, he did with he. Yo, no, 
he she was just too aggressive. Yeah. <laughs> She was just too aggressive. That's probably what killed that. But, um, <laughs> but then what was the insinuation with, like, Bill Potts? Oh, I like girls. Like, when she's a fucking Cyberman. Well, no, like, I just say this. Are they going to hook up if, like, she's a female, too, or what? No, I just think that she, uh, I just think she said that, I think. Just to show she's she still said, human, so like, that she humanity. Said, yeah, she's still, like, women, so she, she kept said, her humanity. Which is the worst way that we'll find your humanity is by that you like women. Who cares? Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Like thanks for telling us fifty times. Yeah. yeah. Good luck with that. But I just think I you think, have to tell the Roman Empire. Like, really? What is that they gonna do? See, I just I don't know about Capaldi because I mean he, I, Delirium is a whole different thing that I wish they would have had. Like, did a couple of. I mean, he was with her. Technically, towards, he had fun for like yeah, twenty yeah. four years straight. That like, man, that man was getting it because, from what I heard, uh, uh, what what her name? That was the was biggest victory ever. Yeah. That was like an eternity. She was a she was a freak, so that's that's the thing that that was characterizing. By that's her. why he was yeah. miserable because then he she became the one. But then it's weird because it's like he's upset with River, but the Clara thing too. It's like, well, See, who the hell did you love more? Like, he, yeah. I mean, okay, here's the thing: it has to be Clara when you think about See, it. Yeah, I think the River thing was forced. Yeah. The river thing was forced upon him that that was going to be your wife. Yeah. And then he was yeah. resistant against it. He yeah. It's like, ah, oh, that's ridiculous. I control my own destiny. You know? Well, this would have been his second wife, to be honest, because we don't know what happened to his first one. What if his first one was Clara, like a freaking, like a virgin? The, the, uh, the ghost? Like, like a, a virgin of her, maybe? Probably. I mean, because she had regeneration there. energy. Yeah, that could have regenerated. That you wouldn't even but have known. He, he would have been with her, but she didn't look like Clara. Oh right, right. Yeah, that's true. Oh, yeah. He could have been with her. She could have been on a third regeneration, and that could have been like a Clara. Mm -hmm. And then it's like, oh shit, yeah. But yeah, let's just let's just be frank. Clara and the Doctor did bang at some point, and that's just. And then which well, it was like. I don't know. I mean, because she acted stupid the whole night. I mean, if you want to OCC a character, then that would have been an OC, a character. That would have been Clara at season nine because her characterization was changed so drastically yeah. that she was doing stupid stuff. And it's yeah. just like, what the hell are you trying to prove? She was... I would have liked if they explored that, that she was losing her fucking mind because mm -hmm. she was really in love with Danny Pink and then it came out that she had a miscarriage or some shit. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. What that's what I was thinking, yeah. That's what they should have did. But, you know. And and the fact that Missy even told her, like, technically Danny Pink could still come back, but she never made a fucking issue to make him come back. Like, he's yeah. still in there. You, you know, it's like... Because they moved on and she's with the doctor now. Right. That's crazy. I was about to say something else that came to mind with that whole situation, but um, yeah. yeah, and I would like to see more of how he befriended Bill's mother because that's really strange. That's that is weird. something. That's something that you know. Did did she was was at some point was her mother a companion of his at that point? Because well, you know what I think he did though, I think he befriended her, but then he erased her memory of the whole event, so it wouldn't alter the future of who she was, because she did not like her photo taken, yeah, and and she was raised to know that. So I think he erased her memory of that whole event, like he got close with her as a friend, mm -hmm. took a pictures, and then erased her memory and put her back, you know. That's a dick move. He did do he that. Probably did do. That. He had to do with that. He had to. It would have altered the whole timeline. He definitely did that because he was so frequent, like ready to erase people. Oh yeah, he was. He was freaking. Happy. And he would never. I. I. It was something he was never going to do again when mm -hmm. he was David Tennant's doctor, tenth. And then you didn't even think he was doing it at eleven. 
But now, yeah. Well, yeah, I'm gonna raise everybody. It's mm-hmm. like, wow, you know. But goodness, Jodie Whittaker. I mean, I I like her as a person. <laughs> you know, I think she's. You know, I am hoping that I like her doctor. But it's all about the writing too, though. It's all about that writing. They shove it in our effing face that she's a female and, it, and that they're not supposed to do that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just. You know what? Stuck. It's the, you know what the sad thing is? It could be the greatest graphics known to man. It could be the most exotic locales, mm-hmm. but it could suck at the same time. Like it could be complete shit because That's there's no I'm... villains. Everybody like, has to. Everybody has to realize that you have to have all elements. It's not all about flashy nice. It's, no, it's not flashy you trash all have, the time. You have to have substance, and that's what the writing comes in. But if I mean, it's gonna be telling because we're now less than a week away from from uh, the uh, the series premiere. We are. We are six days away. With, yeah. And so it's coming it, fast and furious. Basically. It is going. Yeah. It's going to be telling how that second, that first episode is written because she, I'm, I'm, I'm getting like more I think about it, I think she's going to be a female 10. So she's going to be very, um, well, you think see, she that, is, but I don't know. Well, I don't know because they're not going to go dark with her. I want a dark, see, that's why I'm kind of upset with the party career duration because he should have been a dark, darker. He should have yeah. been very dark. I mean, to the point where you can't see any light. That's how they should have played him as. Right. Because his very first episode, when he's when he sat there and he's like, "One of us is not making it out of here." That no. was great. That was great. Yes. <laughs> one, one of us is not making it out of here, and then you see the man like have a spear through him on top of the building. <laughs> I'm like, God dang! And then that look he gives yes. after it. I'm like, oh shit. That's great. I know. That was such a great scene. I'm like, damn, man, can we just had that for like the whole rest of the series? That would have been great. Him doing like just badass stuff. Yeah. But then Clara made him soft. It's like Jesus. Oh my God, bro. <laughs> I was he about freaking to took his keys. You ain't got it in the time. Throw that shit lava. Shit. Oh, she's a she's an asshole. I wouldn't even did that. And he's Man, like, where you want to go? All right. Oh God. I I really wish that line would have stuck. You can would go, go to hell. Go to hell. Yeah. You <laughs> can go to hell. And like she was like, fair enough. They should have just let that line stick. That was, was a, that was. I couldn't believe he said that. Yeah, you know and I was in shock. I'm like, oh. <laughs> I'm like, my mouth is open. Like, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> I was like, he yeah. went there. He told me. Yeah. I was like, Malcolm Tucker, come on out, buddy. We need you right now. No. <laughs> it's like she took him over the title sequence and everything. It's like, what yeah. the fuck did that about? <laughs> When she said that that time, too, I got scared. I'm like, oh, God, don't do that. Like, are you doing that? I was like, no. You know, it was like, oh, shit. Moth was messing around, man. Man, he should have just let that that take care. God. Even at an episode, would you act like the doctor and shit? Oh, God. I I was like, what the fuck? Come on. What is this shit? Getting ready for the spinoff, the Clara show. Oh shit! The shit. <laughs> we could have. We could have just had. They could have had that shit. She could have got Diddy Pink, but she could have been in class. They screwed that shit up, though. Oh really? She could have been. Yeah, she could have. She was alive. Oh yeah, yeah, because she was. Yeah. They would have. If they would have did that, it would have been like, all right, you know. Well, apparently bring she... Danny Pink back, bring her back. Mm-hmm. Left on Earth, they have their lives, and uh, they they're teaching the you know. The kids, that would have been a better class than what we got. Oh, man, they could have kept Miss Krill, though, because Miss Krill was just a yeah. badass. If I wanted a female doctor, that would have... Well, that's Krill. what they, they were trying to tease at. Remember? Yeah. 